Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to share reactive form components in Angular. So in production, uh, say your company has 10 different departments, you're creating a certain type of form for your company's department. Every department has some department specific requirement, but every form shares some common components, for example, name and date of request. So you have 10 forms, but each form shares this part. You do not want to create name data request 10 times. You want to create a sub form that can be embedded into the 10 departmental forms. And so you can reuse this part repeatedly with just one copy. So how to do that? The reason I'm making this video is because there's some ridiculously complex solutions posted online. I believe it's medium.com. One of my colleagues, a junior developer, um, he, read, he read that article. I think that's a total totally ridiculous this can be solved super easy uh, you don't need anything new just using existing service you can get it done so here are my solutions by the way my solution is just demo in production these two forms should live on two different templates even two different modules uh, so I'm just uh, trying to show you how to share this certain portion of the form so I'm taking a shortcut okay let's increase font size a little bit. I think this font is a little bit small. Uh, let's make it three. Mm. Okay, that's big enough. The first step is to create um, a service. Remember, in Angular, when you want to share something, you should create a service. Um, here we have a shared service called shared forms. This service import form group, form builder, and validators, if you have validators, and it has a function called shared form. It returns a form group. So this service returns the data behind this top portion, the shared form group, the name and date of request. So we have constant form group equals this form builder, name, date of request. And then I also initialize the date using the set value to today's date. Now this is optional, yeah, validators are optional. And then I return this new form group. So it can be used by any components who has this service injected. This way you create the service just once, the form group just once, and it can be used as many times as you want, uh, making it easier to maintain. So now you can share the underlying data. What about sharing this template, the design, this form part, the name and data request? Uh, to share the template, of course, you create a component. In production, of course, this component will be created in the module, and this module will export the component. So whoever import that module will be able to have access to the component. Again, for simplicity, I create this shared component inside the module. So I don't have import export for, uh, to illustrate the idea. Yeah. So for this shared component, it in, has inputs of two things. The parent component, the parent component is this guy this form. So this top portion, name and date of birth, the shared header will be imported 10 times, right? By 10 different components. So this component, name and date of request, need to know whose parent, their parent, who's importing me. Yeah. So the first import is the parent group. And the second import is the header, another form group. So this header group is just the name and date of request. So it needs to take in two form groups as inputs. And the template is very straightforward, right? You have form group equals parent group. Um, that's the three fields, name, date of request, and your hobby. So this is the parent group. The parent group has a header group, a, sub, a child of the parent group, which is shared by 10 different components. So here you have the mad form field, name, Mad form field date of request. There's nothing fancy, just two fields. And you specify the parent group, you specify the form group name, which is header. Okay, so here you can see simple. You build component. And now let's look at the parent uh, component. It's called shared form. So this shared form imports a number of things. Now we do not need the validators here. You can see for simplicity, I created two parent form groups. So the two parents live on the same template. In production, they live on different templates, even different modules. Yeah. For simplicity, 
we use a single component. Form group one will have a header. Remember, form groups can be nested. So this header is the shared header we just created. And where does it get the controls? From the service, this shared form service, shared form. So it imports the shared form service we just created. The form two, same thing. It has a header field because the headers is shared by 10 different departments, right? The name and data request, it's re reused 10 times. So the form two also have a header. Uh, the underlying data comes from the service and it has a different uh, form specific field called, called spouse. So we have hobby on form one, the spouse on form two, and they will have two different submit buttons, submit form one to a database, submit form two to a database. It code is very simple, not complex at all. Import the service, build a new form group. Uh, the new form group has as its child, the shared form group, the header group. The template is even easier, uh, not this guy. The shared template. Okay, so here you have shared form group. You have first form on submit, you call on submit one. Uh, the form group name, the first you use the shared header, right? App header, you pass two form groups, the header group and your form one as the parent. And the second part here, is the form specific data you have just one specific field called hobby it's your hobby so that's the first form the shared part which is a child component and your hobby and this button is also specific yeah uh, same for the second form the bottom form you have a on submit two form two you also use the header and you, this app header, this uh, is like a constructor. So create another instance of a header, and you have another field called a spouse. That's it here. So nothing fancy. You create a service to create form controls. Then you create a shared template, and then you use that template in every sub form. I, you want to render that template, and mission accomplished. Nothing fancy. Super easy. Um, the code is saved on uh, GitHub. Feel free to download it. Okay, thank you.